Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Micro 11, which is actually the smallest Windows 11 build I could find. In the past, we've taken a look at Tiny 11 and Nano 11, which have both been very impressive, with Nano 11 being the more impressive one, as it takes up significantly less space than Tiny 11. But I do want to show you Micro 11, because this... This OS takes up a whopping 451 megabytes in an ISO compared to the 4 or 5 gigabytes that regular Windows usually takes. So in this video, we're going to be booting this up and taking a look at this crazy small OS. This is actually smaller than I believe this... I'm trying to think. I want to say Windows XP was about as big as this, if not bigger. But this is honestly really impressive that they're able to achieve this level of lightweight and i'm already impressed by the iso size because i know tiny 11 has like raised in size i know it's like four gigs or something like that now but tiny this one right here this this is probably going to be the most impressive i'm curious to know what its uncompressed size is how much disk space is actually going to take up and i might actually be able to talk through this installation because i mean we are over halfway done with the installation thus far and it that that was it this is because you barely have any OS files. It is go. There we go. We're gonna reboot into the operating system. I'm typically never able to commentate the OS install because it takes so long. With that, that was very impressive. So, like I said, I'm very excited to see like how much space it actually takes, how snappy and responsive this is, even running on one gigabyte of RAM, because that's the amount of RAM I put in this device. And are we going into the OOB or? because that was an unusually short amount of time. But then again, remember, we're 450 megabytes of Windows installer right here. This appears to be Micro 11. There is no desktop experience. There is no anything like that. It literally just appears to be a command line, which I... Again, I did not look at this prior to this video, so I did not know what to really expect. But this appears to just be command line. So trying to find Explorer, I believe it's in... No, it's not in Windows. Um, but we still do have Notepad. There we go. We do have... That is a very crucial file that is installed here. Um, as for everything else, I mean, I would CD into System32, and we can see that there's very little, very little other stuff in here. Um, very little executables, very little, I mean, there's, there's really nothing to take a look at here. I mean, we've got TPM tool, uh, this just really reminds me of, like, MS-DOS just because of its command-based architecture. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with Micro 11, just because it's so tiny. Like, I can't, you can't get an operating system, or you can't get a desktop environment, which is not what I, not what I was expecting, but, I mean, it is what it is. So we can open Task Manager, actually, and I'm curious to see... Explorer, okay, it actually doesn't exist. I'm curious to know how Windows runs without Explorer, but like these are all the running apps and services, very little, and we are using 391, 392 megs out of a gig in this system. We're using very little CPU usage right now. Um, it's very, very stripped down, very low energy. I can see you probably using this for something like digital signage or something that doesn't like require a full OS because you know how secure this probably is or actually it's either really secure or it's really not secure for the simple fact of there's no patches but I mean yeah this this is this is it this is micro 11 really slimmed down it is like the MS DOS of the modern century there's not much you can really do with it that I'm, that I'm aware of like I said I've done really no research on it but yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new on here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.